So guess who's back to kind of try to ruin your weekend with all of this NASA wild, crazy conspiracy type talk? It's, it's me. It's me. And I love it. I love it. But listen, this video here, NASA chief gives serious warning about an asteroid hitting Earth. All right. And I know we've been hearing those talks about different things a lot. So we're going to continue the discussion. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Join the fam. Let's check it out. This episode was made possible by Brilliant. Throughout history, the thought of a massive space rock hurtling into Earth has got quite a lot of people nervous. It's understandable. I'll raise my hand and let you know, I'm one of those people that stay nervous about something like that. Yep, I am. Well, the people are naturally afraid of asteroids. If one were to really make contact with our planet, it could create massive tidal waves, a brand new ice age, and an explosion that is unparalleled in the course of human history. Even though the movies like to show asteroids creating havoc for humans, the idea is not just some work of fiction by movie studios. The truth is that asteroids do pose a real, credible threat to all of humanity. And to make things even worse, NASA has already detected massive asteroids that are on a straight path for Earth. This is where NASA's DART mission enters the picture. The first planetary defense project to test a method of deflecting an asteroid on course with our home planet. This is what I've been asking for. This is what I want to know about. You've been hearing me ask about contingency plans. Well, here we have it. This is, uh, this is what I've been looking for. Thank y'all. So what does DART do? When will it be up and running? And most importantly, how will it save us from the biggest threat to humanity? <laughs> yeah. October 22nd, 2021. This was the day an enormous asteroid named 2021 SM3 came flying by Earth at breakneck speeds. With a diameter of around 525 feet, this space object is even bigger than the Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt. First of all, what is breakneck speed? Never heard that where I'm from. You know what I mean? I know that's that might be slang for him, but what is that? <laughs> you know what I mean? And secondly, the size of what? The pyramids of what? Are you serious? This space object is even bigger than the Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt. Perhaps the most frightening part about this experience was that scientists were only able to detect the object one month in advance to its nearby passing, meaning that if its trajectory was just slightly changed towards Earth, we would have had no way of stopping its destruction. This is just one of the many close calls that Earth has each year with asteroids, so it's no wonder why NASA has made it a priority to create a reliable system to prevent a horrific collision. Formally titled the Double Asteroid Redirection Test, NASA's DART probe launched only two months after this close call while riding atop a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. The mission will all come to a head later next year. That's when the 1,210-pound spacecraft will collide with a minor asteroid dubbed Dimorphos at a speed of roughly 4 miles per second. This will happen in late September or early October 2022 and will hopefully modify the space rock's orbit around its bigger partner Didymos. After the collision, astronomers down on Earth will measure the difference to see how efficient this kinetic impact approach of asteroid deflection is. If the results are substantial, this might become the tactic mankind may use in the future if a rock lines up Earth in its sights. Ideally, the impact should shorten Dimorphos' orbit by several minutes, although the exact amount is subject to change. Can you imagine? Like... They would have to have these joints on ready at all time. And you would need to create a machine or brain mach uh, uh, type of computer that detects them before we can detect them and then send them out automatically at the proper coordinates and speed and everything that it takes to accomplish the mission. Like, this is only the beginning. 
DART will prove to NASA that a spacecraft can navigate itself to a target asteroid and collide with it on its own. Now, how does DART work and what sort of next-gen technology has NASA equipped it with? The DART spacecraft is tiny compared to others in NASA's arsenal. The spacecraft's core is a box that is just a meter wide on all sides, with two rollout solar arrays that give it a span of roughly 40 feet. DART's electronic propulsion technology uses a constant flow of charged ions to deliver a mild push. To get going, the spaceship will circle around Earth many times using its electronic engine to gradually build the necessary speed to break out from orbit. It will then start the long journey to Didymos, potentially passing another asteroid named 2001 CB21 along the way. DART actually has only one piece of science equipment named DRACO, a high-resolution camera that also serves as a navigation system. It's inspired by a camera on NASA's New Horizons mission which famously flew past Pluto years ago. DART will launch an Italian space agency built CubeSat to witness the impact five days before it arrives. The primary spacecraft will be too far away from Earth for flight controllers to manage in real time, so four hours before impact, it will convert to an autonomous navigation mode. Draco's images will aid the spacecraft's computer in distinguishing between Didymos and Dimorphos, allowing it to navigate toward the latter. Using a very cutting-edge guidance, navigation and control system, along with algorithms called small body maneuvering or time. look like a video game, right? <laughs> look like an old school video game, but a video game nonetheless, right? ...and control system, along with algorithms called small body maneuvering autonomous real-time navigation, or smart nav, the dart craft will be able to tell the difference between the two asteroids allowing it to zero in on its final destination. All of this planning and projecting and navigating will occur within just one hour of impact. The target asteroid is about 6.8 million miles from Earth, far from the reach of our scientists on the ground. That means that all of this will truly be autonomous. After all that preparation, it'll be over in seconds, DART will collide with Dimorphos, changing the orbital period of Dimorphos around Didymos from 11.9 to 11.8 hours, a difference of only 4.2 minutes. Dimorphos will move closer to Didymos as a result of this. All in all, the project will quickly send back the results that will be analysed again and again by the brilliant minds at NASA. The best case scenario will give the agency a strong, reliable way to fight off an asteroid hurtling towards Earth. The worst case scenario will send them back to the drawing board yet again. Astronomers will be able to compare data from Earth-based telescopes before and after DART's kinetic impact to see how much Dimorphos' orbital period altered. This is the critical metric that would inform NASA how the asteroid reacted to DART's deflection operations. Now, y'all know we've had that just take place recently. I, I did a, a, a YouTube short on it, watching it happen, and then from the, from the uh, space station, not space station, but then from NASA, and uh, their reactions and everything to it, man. It was, it was amazing, bro. If you haven't seen us go head-to-head -head with an asteroid, bro, it was... It, I don't know, man. It was, to me, it's going to be one of those moments, bro. Because that's that's just like a huge step in the right direction of battling or, or combating these asteroids. Like they say that, that hit Earth, I don't know how often throughout the year. You know what I mean? But we've been also concerned about one being the size of causing catastrophic damage and what would be our defense against it now having this and having hit one and been successful we can continue to build and prepare and that's the that's the thing man preparing for something like like this that can happen that we don't think about you know what i mean i wasn't thinking about this months or years ago you know but then when you open pandora's box and you're 
you're faced with it with knowing about these things now you're worried about okay well what if this happens it's some this could add stress onto your life man so them being able to combat this and become successful with it bro imagine how many years that adds on to your life the European Space Agency's HERA mission will form a follow-up analysis of Didymos and Dimorphos a few years after the impact, providing more data and results for scientists to work through. The idea of deflecting an asteroid isn't a new one, but it's one that NASA has been looking to investigate for a long time. They just needed to find the right asteroid system to send the craft to. These asteroids have a certain speed that is really attractive to NASA, especially for a test like this. Because Dimorphos orbits Didymos at a much slower speed than other asteroids, the results of the DART experiment can be easily measured. Dimorphos was chosen for this trip because its size is comparable to asteroids that potentially threaten Earth. Yet the twin asteroid system does not represent a direct threat to Earth itself. The DART spacecraft will not destroy the asteroid. Instead, it will give it a little nudge and alter its trajectory around the bigger asteroid. This implies there's no way to change the asteroid's course to make it more dangerous. I know that's disappointing to some people who just want to see it hit and disintegrate it. Like... Dimorphos's speed will barely alter by around 1% when it circles Didymos due to the rapid impact. Although this may not seem like much, it will shift the moon's orbital period by more than a minute. Every 11 hours and 55 minutes, Dimorphos completes an orbit around Didymos. According to the specialists observing from the John Hopkins Applied Physics Lab, if the hit is effective, it will shift the period by at least 73 seconds. Measuring the momentum transfer between the spacecraft and Dimorphos will reveal how much energy is required to alter an asteroid's trajectory. As a result, if an asteroid on a collision path with Earth is detected one day, NASA will now know how much momentum is required to make the asteroid avoid Earth. It doesn't take a scientist to know that is very important information indeed. Stay ready so we ain't gotta get ready, baby. While there are now no asteroids on a direct collision trajectory with Earth, there is a massive population of near-Earth asteroids in different forms and sizes. Finding these objects before they pose a direct threat to humans is critical to planetary protection. The concept behind them all is to alter the asteroid's orbital speed by a little amount. Changing the asteroid's orbital speed modifies the asteroid's orbit, so it won't be in the same spot to strike Earth in the future. Although this entire mission will take a long time to complete and be fully analyzed and studied, it's already progressing quite well. The DART spacecraft opened the round door covering its Draco telescopic camera on December the 7th, 2021, and provided the first photograph of its position. A dozen stars placed against a black sky can be seen in the photograph, which experts confirm is the junction of constellations Perseus, Aries and Taurus. There are so many asteroids floating through the deep reaches of space. There are truly millions out there and thousands that could someday pose a threat to our existence on Earth. In the end, what DART will attempt is the smartest, surest way to stop an asteroid from smashing smack dab into the middle of planet Earth. Yes, there are many things to be afraid of in deep space, but DART might be what stops the biggest threat of them all. If you want to get a better understanding of space and science, then you will love this video sponsor, Brilliant. Brilliant is an interact... Right, so the last part is an ad, but... Don't that make you feel better? Now that, you know what I'm saying? When you wasn't thinking about this, it wasn't a problem. But as soon as you opened your mind up to knowing about what these asteroids are capable of doing, it bothered you a little bit. So if you hear something, your, your antennas go up. Doesn't this make you now feel a lot better knowing that they're addressing this concern and they're, they're acting upon it? They're not just talking. They're really doing it and have made attempts already, as we've seen. So, to me, talk about a load off your shoulders, bro.
Because you see how fast these asteroids come, and then you see how much time they have once they detect one. It's not that long. So I don't know about y'all, man, but hearing stuff like that, seeing what we saw before on the other video, and NASA showing what they were doing, makes me feel good. That's all I'm saying. But I can't wait to hear from y'all. Y'all get at me in the comment section. Let me know what you think, and stick around and stay tuned. Till next one, I'm gone. Peace.